Okay, so this is extension two. Um, if you missed extension one, all it was to do was just to create five scenes um, and just move between the scenes, okay? Nice and simple. This one is slightly more complex. This works more like a navigation. So we're gonna create our five scenes, or I'm gonna get you to create all five scenes, um, and then we're gonna create five buttons that move between those scenes. So when you click on a button, it actually goes to that scene. So let's just do a few steps first. So the first thing is, is we need to create our scenes. So let's unlock our scenes button. Let's just lock the this one button here, and let's create a new scene. So let's go to frame 80 and then insert a keyframe. And we do need to insert a keyframe here as well, otherwise it's gonna go straight through. So let's insert keyframe. Actually, I just need to insert a frame as well. There we go, that's better. Now, on this one here, we just need to change this one. It's gonna say page three, not page two. Okay, that's great. And then we just need to do one more. So let's insert some frames here. So insert frame. And so this one here is gonna be page three. So let's name it page three, enter. This one here is gonna be page four. Page four, enter. So now we have all them, we just need to insert our frames on this bottom layer as well. So right click and insert frames. So now we're pretty much all set up. Let's just make sure when we click on each page, we get the placeholder text. So page one, page two, page three, and page two, no, page four. So let's just change that. Great. Now this next button isn't quite what we want anymore. So we're gonna change this and we're gonna call it home page. So if I double click on it, oh, we need to unlock that. So let's lock that one, unlock this one, um, and let's double click on it. And we're just using the up state. I'm just gonna change the up state from next to home. Okay, nice and simple. Now. For your extension, if you want to have over, over and down states as well, you can do that. Um, and if you've forgotten how to do that, that was in the last lesson in, video, in lesson one. But I'm gonna leave that bit. So now we've got our home button, let's create another button. Um, you have to create five, I'm literally just gonna create two. So once you see this done once, you'll understand exactly how it's gonna happen. So let's create this, let's just change the color. Let's make the color red, nice and colorful. And let's call this page one. Okay, so the idea is every time we click on one of these buttons, it will move us to the appropriate page. So let's select everything, right click, convert to symbol, and let's call it page one button. Deliberately no spaces, change the type to make sure it says button. And then over where it says instance, let's say page one button. Okay, great, and then press enter. So we have two buttons, and you can create five buttons in exactly the same way. So when we click on home, it will go to the home button. Now we've already set up the action for the home. So if I press F9, or if you've forgotten, you can get the same window by pressing actions under the windows. Now, if we come into this first frame, we've got this set up. Now, the page that we want it to go to is this one here that says front cover. And because it's a label, we can specify that with speech marks. So if I put speech marks in and I say front, make sure it's spelled exactly the same way. And there's a space there and it's cover. Okay. So that label there is exactly the same. Make sure it looks a bit big. No, that's okay. So it's got a capital F and a capital C and that will work. So that will set up my home button. Now let's just set up my page one button. So select page one. The button then click on the snipping and then html5 canvas and then timeline navigation and then go to and play so double click so we've got this all set up we've got the front cover one but you'll notice that that number five's come back again and remember this five will take it to this frame here we don't want it to go to this frame we want it to go to this frame now you could say go to and play frame 20 and that'd be fine but if later on you end up inserting more frames it will actually break your code so you're better off going to the label in this case it's page one so speech marks and then capital P page one will set that right up. So let's save our work file, save, and let's go and test it. So I'm gonna press control enter. You can do that or you can press publish, completely up to you. 
So now when I press page one, hopefully it will go to page one and it won't go any further. So click on that page one. Notice that there wasn't any gap. Okay, so there wasn't, it didn't wait for the frames to load because the go to command just says, look, go to it. Don't play anything, just go to it. So it went straight to that frame 20. Now when I press home, I'm now sending the timeline backwards. So press home and there you go, straight to frame um, the first page. So your mission for the extension is to create five of these buttons and make sure that each button goes to a new page or a new scene, okay? And then I'd like you to screenshot that as lesson two extension.